thank you Novacon and uh, poultry, uh, West Bengal Poultry Federation for uh, inviting us and giving a chance to uh, give this presentation. Uh, as the moderator said, it is a, it is a, for me it is a very difficult task after such a sumptuous meal to keep you awake. I will try that, but uh, be awake, it is an interesting subject. And particularly those who are from Pune, they know in Pune, traditional businesses are closed for 1 to 4 p.m. Just for the lunch and siesta. There are so many jokes about that. So be awake. Uh, poultry waste management. Handling the environment concern. Actually, this presentation was supposed to be given by Dr. V.R. Kulkarni, the brain and team leader behind this. Uh, but due to some unavoidable commitments, he could not uh, come here. So the responsibility was given to me as a part of team. Next. Uh, the biggest uh, concern nowadays, uh, even uh, earlier speakers mentioned, that uh, in villages also, because of fly population, we face hell of problem. And fly is because of this litter only. Because fresh litter and the oxygen is a food for flies. Uh, it creates bad odor, dirty conditions. Not only that, it gives emissions of greenhouse gases like CO2, methane, and nitrous oxide. Methane is almost 25 percent, uh, 25 times dangerous than carbon dioxide. Nitrous oxide is almost 300 times dangerous than the uh, carbon dioxide. Cleanliness. With this biogas plant, you can achieve the cleanliness where we are taking care of the bird welfare and also workers' welfare. Because of we take care of welfare by avoiding odor, dirty conditions, performance and efficiency of both labor and birds enhances. Next. Now, the main concern, uh, everybody's interest, money. How we can get money from the biogas plant. Uh, it gives us solutions for our problems along with the money. Where we use, reuse, recycle and regenerate. Reuse the poultry litter, recycle the bio slurry and then regenerate means we generate the electricity. In Maharashtra, Ours was the one poultry, uh, first poultry litter based biogas project in uh, Miraj. Uh, innovative. Uh, then in, uh, by, after nine years, almost 10 successful biogas projects are running in Maharashtra. All over India, we just calculated, we had a calculation that almost 12 million metric liter, ton metric liter is available to convert into biogas. It is considering the layer and breeder population of India. Because in broiler, you can't convert the litter to uh, biogas because it is mixed with rice husk and all those things. <coughs> Long way to go for this. Uh, now let us come to the biogas process. Biogas process, first requirement is organic matter. That is an anaerobic meter, which is our poultry litter. Uh, Next step is hydrolysis, where we add almost 50% of water into uh, the litter so that it convert the simple uh, the uh, litter into simple molecules of carbohydrates, proteins, and the fatty acid. Further, the fatty acids are subjected to the acetogenesis by acetogenic bacteria. The fermentation takes place so that we uh, the acetic acid is converted to methane. It is, uh, first acetic acid is formed by acetogenic bacteria and the fermentation is done by methogenic bacteria. Here I would like to explain, uh, the problem is uh, so many people go for a smaller biogas uh, uh, project, but it doesn't work because the ammonia created is uh, inhibitory to the, uh, uh, what you can say, uh, increasing the methogenic and acetogenic bacteria. So because of that, we have uh, some innovative, innovative process to remove the ammonia from the uh, biogas. Uh, because uh, direct, if you put the uh, things, the poultry litter into digester, it doesn't work. 
Now, whatever methane we get, it is mixed with hydrogen uh, uh, H2S and other stresses. The methane which is collected from the digester, it is 65 to 70 percent pure, which, is, which can directly used for uh, gas brooders. Then we can even uh, give this bi biogas, this methane, to the uh, converting generator electric generator so that this can be directly converted to electricity also. But further, we can purify the uh, methane uh, to almost 93 percent, which is earlier also you had presentation. After purification, it, it is a bio CNG fuel. In this process, basically, two carbon molecules plus two uh, water uh, molecules, H2O, they are converted into methane and carbon dioxide. Uh, we will just look for the flow chart. Next, please. Yeah, next. Yeah, uh, flow chart, biomethane for layer and breeder. The most important thing in biogas project is you need a fresh litter. Everyday litter, uh, you need a fresh litter. Without fresh litter, we will not able to uh, produce the biogas. So, collection of litter is very important. Then in the preparation tank. This preparation tank and sedimentation tank are particularly Dr. VRK's innovations because again, same problem was coming that if we collect the uh, uh, this uh, poultry litter and uh, add it to into the digester, uh, it will, because of ammonia, the gas production get reduced. So one, uh, one day comes that it stops producing methane. So to avoid this, we have introduced these two processes, preparation tank and sedimentation tank. Preparation tank, uh, what we do, we add 50% water, then blow it, we do bubbling of it, and remove the ammonia, uh, which is very detrimental for methogenic and acetonic bacteria to survive. And in sedimentation tank, I will be showing the pictures of all these uh, uh, equipments uh, in a few next few slides. In sedimentation uh, tank, with stirring and with bitters, we remove the inorganic material. Like somebody asked that how uh, with uh, stone grit or shell grit it is possible. In this sedimentation tank, this is being removed. Now we can move whatever remaining bioslurry to the anaerobic uh, digester. This digester, from digester, we can collect the raw biomethane. Uh, which is uh, uh, which can be uh, collected into a balloon and can be transported also different places if you want to transport then we subject this biomethane to purification process then we compress it and from after compressing bio cng is available for you and this bio cng we can uh, feel it in the cylinders Another, this thing, whatever bio slurry comes out, which is biogas residue, it can be directly used as an organic fertilizer, which is very good for plants. But what we have done further is with liquid, solid liquid separator, uh, we separated the bio slurry from the solid material. So solid material can be converted into a solid fertilizer. Even further, we have done, uh, we are marketing by making its pallets, so which are very easy for application and very uh, competitive to the chemical fertilizers. Uh, next is the uh, photo gallery, just to give you a feel of uh, how biogas plant can look. Uh, this is the sewage pump, which is used for uh, transporting the raw and digested slurry. Uh, this is the blower which is used in the preparation tank uh, for to help the removing the ammonia from the raw metal which is a, uh, our uh, poultry litter. Uh, the duration for this uh, uh, blowing is around six hours. It requires six hours to remove the ammonia. Next is the stirrer, which is in the sedimentation tank. 
uh, it takes hardly uh, 20 minutes to steer it so that with centrifugal force and all that the uh, all that uh, unnecessary material this uh, stone grit and shell grit everything we can remove in this uh, through this stirrer uh, this is being operated at around uh, 140 rpm for 20 minutes this is a typical uh, anaerobic digester uh, this is uh, particularly our farm is around uh, 65,000 layers, so this is a picture of that digester. We have two uh, digester this kind, uh, this kind, but we have analyzed that for one lakh layer capacity, uh, you need around 600 uh, cubic meter uh, digester. This is, yeah, next please. This is gas line pipe uh, where you can collect the raw methane and you can transport it to the uh, balloon and you can store it in a balloon even you can transport the balloon itself uh, raw methane this this can be used for as a cooking gas then uh, for gas brooders uh, then for electricity also there are uh, yeah this is a biogas generator uh, which is a uh, converts the gas into electricity uh, approximately around uh, one cubic liter of gas can produce around 1.7 units of electricity. Uh, this is purification system uh, which operates on a vacuum swing pressure adsorption method. This kind of refinery you can say. These are compressors, the purified uh, biogas is being compressed, then converted into bio CNG, and then it can be uh, transported uh, through next please through this kind of cylinders. Yeah, next. Uh, there are challenges. Uh, for next uh, few slides, I will be coming to it. That uh, bio slurry transportation is a big challenge. But uh, we have developed this kind of cylinders, so we can collect the bio slurry, liquid bio slurry, then transport this and deliver it to the agriculture farmers directly. And accordingly, their uh, requirement, we can either sprinkle or we can spread in their field. This is a special thing we have started. Means bio slurry is being subjected for uh, solid liquid separation. And uh, once you do it, uh, the solid parts are uh, separate. And if you add some uh, substrates into it, and you can convert it to, uh, to pallets. And liquid bioslurry, again, we have to recirculate and reuse. That liquid bioslurry, whatever remaining, that also can be used as a manure, uh, organic manure. The picture of pallets, what we mar right now we market under name of Biogold. Uh, these uh, pallets uh, we are marketing in Sangli, Miraj. Uh, we have very good demand and it is being sold at around uh, 10 rupees per kg. Yeah, now advantage of such a project. The cleanliness of the farm, which is most important challenge nowadays because uh, even for breeder and layer big farms, Villagers are objecting, uh, some are going legal, uh, so it is very difficult to run a farm even in a remote places. Second is fly free and it is odor free uh, because of once you put a biogas plant, you will never believe that your farm is so clean and fly free. Uh, so many claims are there that you can remove flies uh, with uh, so many chemicals and all that, but one can understand with their experience that there are limit, very much limitations in controlling the flies. So with this, I think you can control almost 99% of fly population. This is very eco-friendly with the staff and birds too. It improves the efficiency of performance, not only the bird, the labors working there. And it is very sustainable for long period. We are running this biogas uh, plant almost from uh, 2013 to right, uh, till now. There is no issue. There is a sustainability. You can continuously, and you can improvise, you can add uh, capacity. There is no issue. And it is very safe. We haven't faced any problem till now. 
and biomethane, the advantage with biomethane is it can be stored, unlike other gases or uh, this thing, it can be stored and it can be transported also with the uh, cylinders and uh, other means. And you can get a bio CNG fuel. That is the biggest advantage. Uh, the fossil fuel, we can compete with fossil fuel very comfortably. Thanks to Government of India for promoting the renewable energy. I think Mr. Vijay Kumar is not here. No. This is the best organic fertilizer. We, to boost the fertilizer, we can give back to the society by doing this. And liquid application. Uh, there are there were concerns about liquid application, but uh, we we have taken so we have done so many experiments. The bio slurry is very useful and 100% available for the plants when applied in the field. The another advantage with uh, there is no chances of water pollution with this bio slurry once you put in the uh, field farms. Uh, compared to the chemical fertilizers. Uh, we have searched, there are some research uh, that uh, this bioslurry can work against 23 bacterial diseases. These are related to plants actually. It can work against 23 bacterial diseases and 14 pests, including E. coli, bacillus, SPP, penicillium, and aspergillus. There are no resistance to the favorable organisms while we use bioslurry for plants. It does not create any pollution, has a high nutrition value in the form of organic carbon, ammonic nitrogen, and available phosphorus and potassium. It uh, resolves the issue of carbon depletion of soil, which is a big concern for agriculture nowadays. The soil permeability, water holding capacity increases. It decreases the soil density and improves the porosity, which are very important for the agriculture. Ah, the challenges. Uh, almost in India, we have 80% of California system farms. So it is challenged. California farm, it is very difficult to collect the litter. But nowadays, with fresh scrapper system, even the current California system farms, we can convert to the fresh, uh, by way of fresh, uh, applying fresh scrapper system, we can collect the litter and we can uh, feed to the uh, biogas plant. Biosolary handling is a concern. Uh, small plant, definitely it is a big concern. Uh, it's a recirculation because after even uh, if you go for solid liquid separation, again it remains, so you have to think of recirculation. Uh, solid liquid separation, like that we have big plants. So small for sp small plants, it may be difficult to uh, take the solid liquid separation. Bioslurry cell is also a big concern because farmer mentality is still not ready for uh, applying this kind of uh, liquid uh, application. Uh, Mr. Vijay Kumar was telling that they are selling it at very high price. Uh, maybe in Namakal area, the agriculture farmers are more educated and uh, they are uh, trying to uh, go for new technology and all that. But in we face this problem. Even in other area also, bioslurry selling is a big problem. They say, uh, you only bring the slurry, you only sprinkle, you do everything. We will not come and buy the bioslurry. Uh, we are not able to dispose of bioslurry uh, even at rupees 1 or rupees 1.5. So one rupee we have to sell this bioslurry. Zero discharge. This is a zero discharge issue for bioslurry because uh, it has to be recirculated. You can't release it uh, for pollution concerns. Uh, high investment, actually investment part will be coming in uh, next slide, but there is a high investment which may be uh, inhibitory for some farmers or uh, those who want to go for biogas plant. Now another concern is, this is very suitable to the EC sheds because EC shed, you require a lot of electricity. And with this, whatever electricity you generate, if EC sheds are there, you can utilize the full electricity. But if you are non-EC sheds, so electricity tend to get uh, wasted because you get a good amount of electricity. But if you don't use it, then it is a waste. 
the problem is uh, till now the local electricity boards state electricity boards are not buying any electricity generated from biogas because there is some metering issue is there it may be resolved in future we don't know because you can't meter electricity generated from uh, the biogas so let's hope some new technology comes and we will able to like solar we will able to sell it to the government also the marketing of uh, bioslurry uh, we need to convince the farmer we have to educate them and if we convince them we can show them the result of uh, bioslurry as it is very easy for plant uh, plant application and all that so let us see we are uh, trying hard on all these things so definitely solutions will come uh, projection this projection is for uh, around uh, 1 lakh layers or say around 80000 breeders uh, with battery cages around 20000 square feet uh, space is required for uh, biogas plant it produces around 10000 kilo poultry litter per day as every bird will give around 100 gram of uh, uh, take 110 to 150 gram so we get this amount of uh, poultry litter and we dilute it by adding water to 80000 kilo after removal of feathers and other inorganics so for this capacity we need 600 cubic meter plant uh, the digester these projections these uh, calculations are made on our own experience we have 65 5000 capacity layer farm in miraj the project cost it is also worked on our uh, experience only civil and fabrication cost will be around 50 lakh which includes the structure the iron required all those things the engine and solid liquid separator it costs around 30 lakh it includes our electrical parts motors etc and other accessories pipes so many things it may cost around 10 lakhs the total goes to around 80 lakhs the working capital manpower around 15 lakhs say you need around 5 people uh, 25000 per month salary if you calculate we may require around 15 lakhs the maintenance it is minimal not much but still it needs 2.5 lakhs as engine and other things needs maintenance raw material if you buy the uh, poultry litter from outside uh, you can get around 1 rupee per kg so it's a 10000 rupees per day even it is own we can take the cost actually in consideration it is around 36.5 lakhs other cost miscellaneous around 6 lakhs so total comes to 60 lakhs the project cost investment 80 lakhs plus working capital is 60 lakhs the revenue generated uh, we can factor it like this uh, gas to electricity around 1000 kilowatt at 5 rupees per day it comes to around 18.25 lakhs per annum fertilizer if you consider the uh, solid fertilizer which is around 4000 kg per day you can uh, produce which is at 5 rupees per kg it is around 73 lakhs per annum total comes to 109.5 lakhs the gross profit is 49.5 lakhs figure may differ uh, cost somewhere other cost may get added the depreciation claim uh, morning also uh, mr vijay kumar uh, told you about details about the subsidies there is 40% as against maximum 50% normal on product cost of product project cost of 80 lakhs for 2 years under renewable energy profit company making companies can have indirect benefit on income tax payment approximately 10 lakhs there is one time subsidy of 40000 per kilowatt uh, our calculation is with 600 cubic meter plant 
it comes to 50 kilowatt, so you can get 20 lakh subsidy. Considering these two benefits, project cost can come down by 50 lakhs. And uh, as uh, earlier presentation he mentioned about Satat scheme for CNG has more benefits. When we started, there was no scheme, so we could not avail this. Uh, the beautiful coincidence is uh, this uh, presentation is being done in Kolkata and the Kolkata based Yuko Bank only financed our project and the manager who processed our loan is in Kolkata only. It's a, it has come to complete a circle. Uh, let us come to summary. The waste organic ma ma matter management need of our and sustainable activity. We need to give back to the society. We need to give back to the next generation. So we need to do it. Everybody need to do it. The project cost, the problems may vary project wise. Everybody may face different problems. We also face problems, but we uh, shown a conviction and we went ahead. Biomethane, biofertilizer, biofuels are most promising to do it. As earlier also being told that these th three things are really very important and we should do it because environmental issue. Bioslurry activities will boom the organic farming. Now we are talking about organic farming. Uh, the government of India is also promoting organic farming. So we can really help them for converting uh, this chemical fertilizers, uh, using of chemical fertilizers to this organic fertilizers and we boost, we can boost the organic farming. And definitely birds will pay back us more through this biofertilizer, biogas and bioslurry. Uh, last but not least, uh, there is a saying that where there is a muck, there is a brass. So by creating this kind of projects, we need to give back to the next generation. Thank you.